Welcome back, dams, fems, and dudrinos. It's your boy Weasel, and we're back in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be working on our path towards home. Um, not all of it, because it's actually going to be a little bit of a bigger project. My idea is to take the path um, that we've built and continue building it to the coastline, and then have a path going along the coastline, maybe a bridge over here. I think that would be really cool. Just, you know, a nice, I guess, oceanic path. I don't know what you would call this, but we're going to need some uh, a, a little bridge. Not not a really huge one, just something to bring this um, above. Let's actually use some dirt blocks here. Just a little wooden uh, bridge spanning across the chasm here. And uh, I need I need a few more blocks, <clears throat> more crafting tables. It is. You can never have enough of those bad boys. All right then. Uh, I guess like eight. That will do. And then it comes back down here. That should be high enough, because if we're in a minecart, like we're gonna be two blocks high. And if we put slabs up there, we should be perfectly fine. Um, on that note. Slaps. It's it's slap time. Those slaps, they slap. Uh, how many do I need? Not that many. Ooh, like 24. That should do it. And I'm going to place them like that. <clears throat> so they're even a little bit higher, just to make sure we're not running into any troubles. All right. Good enough. Not perfect. Mm. For aesthetic reasons... Let's give me that. For aesthetic reasons, I'd like to replace those with cobblestone or wood um, when you drive by. It feels, feels more, you know, correct, if that makes sense. All right. Um, that's excellent. Doop, 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 doop. You know, makes it feel a little bit more grounded. Makes it feel, I guess, a little bit more real, I want to say. Something along those lines. Uh, we're also going to replace those with cobblestone. Because, you know, that cobblestone got to be resting on something. You don't want that to rest on dirt. I like the mossy blocks. wonder how you can generate mossy blocks. If there's a recipe for them, so to speak. And should I create stairs? Nah, I shouldn't create stairs. But what I'll do is I'll make this a little bit wider. And sure, we're going to put another torch over here. Very good. Um, I guess we could put them also just inside. That's That looks neat. I like the look of that. Uh, we're also going to move this out of the way. Just for a little bit of a smoother transition. Oh, yeah. I'm getting... I'm, I'm feeling this. Are you feeling this? I'm feeling this. I'm out of... I'm out of torches. That's not a problem. That's what we have a coal for. Actually, we do have plenty of torches in the inventory, so let's not worry too much about that. Good. So, now that we're over here, <laughs> there's a big old tree in the way, isn't it? Isn't there? Yeah, there is. I might actually have to take this one out. I think the best um, path forward right now is going to be petting down the torches again. Okay, listen, listen here. You have you have to be taken uh, out. It's nothing personal. It's just that's where I want my path to go, and you just happen to be in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Very sorry. I've been looking into a few other mods for trees because one thing that I really like is the idea of those trees falling, and you have to kind of like evade it. Our craft does it with the. Um, uh, I forgot what the mod is called. It's, it's, it's a tree mod. Immersive trees, I want to say. That also has a few... Wow, this tree is huge. Um, that has a few mechanics relating to the spread of leaves and branches and all of that kind of stuff. But it is sadly for Minecraft version either 114 or 112. It might be 112. Um, so, yeah, if you're, if you're playing the newer versions, you're missing out on a lot of mod packs that are just not... Com compatible yet or ever going to be compatible I mean eventually I can imagine them moving up higher versions but <clears throat> well, people are okay playing on older versions of Minecraft I guess I would be too but I figured it would be reasonable to keep this world as a more um, you know contemporary more modern one since uh, I want to learn things while playing this so 
Ugh. All right. So I just finished up cleaning up the chicken coop and the pigeon coop, in case you didn't know. Uh, we have pigeons. Quite a few. Now, just two. Um, we used to have three, but one of them got out. I also just realized that I forgot to put my uh, recording curtain up behind me. I have a... It's a moving blanket, um, but it is... Ooh, mossy blocks. I want those mossy blocks. Gimme. Um, but it helps with the echo in the room. Um, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't really have anything planned, anything specific to talk about today. But... Oh, you know what? I should bring this down. But I'm sure I'll come up with something. <clears throat> recording equipment being one of those things. That's 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 a weird uh, rabbit hole to go down to, especially, um, I feel like, on YouTube, if you get really obsessed with it. I'm fairly happy with my current... <clears throat> sorry. With my current audio setup. Um, an AT2035 dynamic m condenser microphone? Just a dynamic microphone, whatever. Um, and a UR242 that allows you to put some uh, effects like compression and EQ on it. So that probably doesn't mean a whole lot to some of you, and that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just, yeah. If you're doing YouTube, the tools of the trade, apart from your computer, are is the microphone. And when you are trying to improve your channel, you don't have a whole lot of um, ways to do that. If that makes sense, you can't. Um, you you kind of have to stick with things. So if you're trying to improve your content, one of the ways is to look into a better microphone or improve your workflow. Which also, again, better microphone helps with that because you need to do less post processing. Anything that makes your, I guess, life easier um, as a content creator is something uh, you can obsess quite a bit about. Uh, okay, let's just keep going straight through here. I'm putting the torches down as a, I guess, guide. Um, you know what? How fast is a hoe on taking down? Oh, that's way better. Should have always been using that. <clears throat> never, never thought about this. Okay. Does it make sense to take these down? Nah, not yet, not yet, not yet. So, let's look. Um, I want to kind of follow the terrain rather than having to build up continuously. Um, up and down or do a crazy amount of terraforming. Yeah, okay. So, we're going to go left here. Um, as a matter of fact, we might as well go this way. I like this. Then this can be easily removed. And then... Hmm, it's, I'm trying to look between the trees, trying to figure out what the right path would be, or a good path would be. Oh, this is good. I like, I like the look of this. If we go through here, and then we'll put some um, slabs down, like a little bridge of sorts. Those trees will have to go, though. But this is going to be nice, because we're going to have a little, little water spot that we pass. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. Hmm. I guess we wouldn't have to remove this tree, but this one definitely would have to go. So, <clears throat> might as well. Might as well go at it. Oh yeah. Um as I was uh I was just talking about microphones and oh boy, don't get me started on face cams. That's a whole another animal. A microphone you only for the most part have to worry about you know, the microphone itself. And, you know, maybe the audio interface. And then, yeah, you want to soundproof your room a little bit if that's an issue. Like, like those are things, I guess it's still within the realm of possibility. It's not too crazy. You can essentially put up a giant... Wow, this tree is really huge. Um, you can come up with some creative solutions to make that sound good. Now... Imagine you have to do that, but you also have to film your silly face while doing that. Now, this is where the quote-unquote fun begins. Because not only have to, do you have to um, worry about soundproofing, you also have to worry about light. Uh-huh. That's always good. Okay, this tree, I think, might have to... 
Uh, I guess we can, like, just shape it. And then, oh, God, yeah, cameras, that's then a whole different animal, and I am not a fan. I'm glad that I'm not doing face cam anymore. I know, oh, wow, that, it's fast, but it really wrecks it, doesn't it? I should make more. Anyway, let's go over here. So, ow, we just want to make sure that there's no direct connection between those two trees. That way, the other tree can uh, despawn. I think that's accurate. Assumption. Excuse me? But yeah, you have to worry about light. Oh god, light. Usually you're not in a very big room um, when you're doing YouTube. Because bigger rooms are harder to soundproof. Um, I mean, that's not... It's just a... <clears throat> sorry. It's just a general statement about um, your your situation or another situation can vary, of course. But generally speaking, a larger room is harder to um, s s not soundproof. What's the word? Um, make sound make make it sound good. Less echo. The reverb. You don't want that in your voice. That's not a good time for your recording. So, ooh, ooh, that's nice. That's a nice open area. It was a good choice. So. Yeah, so now all of a sudden you have to kind of cram lights in there. And it, lights are tiring on your eyes. You can't stare into bright lights all the time. Of course, you don't have to have lights, but again, it's one of those things. Yeah, that's one of the ways to, I guess, improve your content, like at least quality-wise. So it's, it's this thing that you keep chasing. And um, a lot of the good solutions take cost a lot of money. So part of the... Uh, going down the rabbit hole also falls into trying to find something for your budget. Because, yeah, sure, if you have if you have all the money in the world, <clears throat> there are some very elegant solutions to your problems. And sure, that's all not a problem. You have your own room. And at that point, you also already know what you're doing. So it's, it's, it's less of a problem. But yes, um, always a problem. Always chasing down the next best thing. And, you know, then you start with headphones because what you hear on your ears might not be what, you know, the average person is on hearing on their ears. Um, you might have headphones that are very bass heavy and that colors your, the voice that you hear. And, oh uh, yeah, hearing yourself while talking, that's another thing. Some some people like it, some don't. I personally always want to hear myself. It might be a broadcaster thing, just so you know what you're hearing, how far away from the microphone you are. I don't, I've never looked into the reasoning for that. It's just a thing that I remember. Okay, so wait, so we're coming in through here, so we're going to oh, smooth this out a little bit. One of the ground does change into leafy ground. I don't know if it does, does that. I don't even know where I was going with this tangent. I was just talking about recording equipment. Not really fascinating stuff. All right, then. So we're going over here, and then I guess this would be a good spot to then um, put stairs and then go down. This is going to be a long path, but it's going to be a pretty one. Okay, here we don't have to worry too much. Let's put some torches down so we keep track of where we're going. A little bit sideways. Uh, there's a good spot. I guess between those trees. Let's get, let's get this guy down. Hi. I think I'm also going to have to take a quick trip to home base. To get some uh, more equipment, like I should get a better <clears throat> axe. Wow, there's some music, long-awaited music. Can I just squeeze through here? I think I'm gonna just uh, take those leaves off. Yeah, I don't need to take this one down. And then another torch, just to get an idea. Another torch, and now we are at the beach. I like this. So. Should we put dirt down or sand? I feel like riding along sandy beaches makes more sand. Ha! <laughs> Sands. Anyway. Sorry for the horrible joke here. I apologize. 
So going along this is going to help us out. It's going to make our lives a little bit easier because we have less trees in the way. And anything we want to traverse, I guess we just have to um, add to the beach, I guess. All right, here is a little bit the question, what do we do? Do we expand the beach or do we... Yeah, we're going to cut this uh, cut this tree apart. I'm, I'm going to keep moving a little bit further ahead so we're not spending too much time here. I'm just trying to follow the path. Okay, yeah, this tree needs to go because that's straight in the middle. Hi! You are a big boy with lots of leaves and I can't let you get away with that. I'm going to have to move some stuff into my uh, big ol' inventory. Big ol'. Yeah, this backpack is filling up. I'm going to have to sort for this in between. You bet. And that's also a lot of saplings. Not sure if I should do anything with them. Oh, great. I got to go up higher. Give me some of that dirt, please. Thank you. With a big tree like this, it feels it would even make sense to just build um, sandy paths alongside it. Luckily, we have plenty of sand at home. So... That's uh, a thing we should be packing up, and when we bring back the dirt. Such a weird concept. I don't try to think too much about um, the, I guess, Minecraft goals, like, or the, 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 the tasks that you do. Just how much time you spend just removing little dirt blocks and then storing them away to use them again and all of that good stuff. And that's not a criticism, it's just a observation. Ooh, that's better. That's oh that's that's massively better. I'm so glad I got the fast leaf uh, decay. So happy. Yeah, we're gonna like uh, dig this out. And same over here. This is gonna be dug out. We're gonna fill this in with a little bit of dirt. Um maybe we have some water flowing in, that would be neat. Oh. Don't forget, gotta put the torches down. And let's get some sleep. And come on, come on, I'm, I'm impatient, there you go. Uh, plenty of those guys, okay. Let's, okay, let's, let's, let's agree on the following. If the tree has only one, uh, is only one branch, one wood block thick, we'll remove it. If it's two, we're gonna work around it. Like this is a good example of working around it. I say, it would be more fun to mm, either dig this out. That's two, three. Dig it out. Yeah, well, we're going to dig this out through here. And then make it go along here for this. Uh, and I'm going to... Quick look on the map tells us... Oh, we're walking into like a thingamajig, a uh, dead end, I guess. I guess we could fall along this way, but that makes no sense. I want to build a bridge across this. I think a bridge would be really neat looking. And you know what? It might even make sense to build the bridge across here. Like, have it over this way, and I'm going to just place a few blocks to know, okay, here's where we're going to put the bridge. You know, and then we're going to build a nice little wooden bridge across this. And we can do that technically right now. I see no reason not to, other than time. Yeah, we'll do it later. Um, not, not to worry. And is that the block? That's kind of the block. And I guess they're going to be ending up over here. Hi, tree. You need to go. Nothing personal. But you can't stop progress. Progress what doesn't wait for anyone. It should, but it doesn't, sadly. Excellent. Wonderful. Hmm, looking on the map, I think we're going to have to go inside and then follow along the island one way or another. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, oh, yeah. Let's put some torches down too. Indicate this. This is bridge territory. And then 
So here we go. We're going to take those trees out. Probably uh, terraform this, like just remove this whole block. Make it fall along here. Then go up this hill. Huh. <laughs> okay, there's a big one. As I said, I don't want to like take those out, so we're going to do some digging around here. And I'm sure we could build something really neat over there. Actually, yeah. Go up this hill. Excuse me. Then we will be higher up. This we can dig out and straighten out. And then fall alongside having... looking. This is like a nice beach spot, isn't it? You know, like I can just imagine like an umbrella and like a um, chair over there. Ooh, I can see my base from here. Is that tiny spot over there? Very good. Um, yeah. Okay, we're moving through here. Further through the woods. I can... Like, this block can go, and then I can avoid that. Very nice. Um, hmm. As I said, avoiding chopping down the big boys. This is just one block wide, so you have to go. I'm already gonna mark you for that. This we can dig out. Oh boy, okay. Ah, what is the shortest distance? We're gonna have to build a really long bridge, won't we? If we want to do this. I, I, like, I like the idea of a really long bridge. Like a cool project. How about, yeah, how about we make this bridge go um, from this height, actually. Like somewhere on this height. Give me, give me, give me. Man of the Midnight. And we move it straight across all the way over there. Um, now, for obvious reasons, so this is going to be a little bit tedious to swim over and then dig around. <sighs> but, but, Sideways Bridge would be nice too. I'm, I'm thinking of... Hmm. I'm thinking out loud. What if we... Alright, bear, bear with me here, okay? So we're gonna... I wish I could zoom in a little closer to, to show you guys what my plan is. Um, build it across here, these chunks. I think that's a, that's a much nicer idea. Um, we're gonna go down the hill. Uh, that's... Gonna be annoying as well. Just a big wooden staircase, I guess. And then down we go. Across here, between the trees. This one's gonna go down, and then, yeah. I think we're gonna build a little bridge, um, or something along those lines, over this way. It's gonna be the first time I'm building a bridge that's not straight, but rather diagonal, because this is pretty perfectly... Uh, pretty perfect for a diagonal bridge. Um, and then we can maybe follow along this coastline. All right. So I'm just going to put some blocks here to mark the beginnings of the bridge for me. That looks like, um, yeah, let's not do that. Let's make it a little bit less, less um, problematic, I shall say. Okay. Wow, oh, I just spent like 23 minutes uh, planning this out, but that's good. That's that's a good plan. We're going, um, I'm going to swim over, and I'm also going to uh, give me my dirt. I'm also going to make um, a few markings, I guess, in the ground. So like, okay, this is where that needs to go. I think this would be a good one. And then just follow diagonally along as an indicator of where the bridge parts need to be built. That's going to help me out in the future. Now this way I know where we're going to build this, or at least where we're going to try to build this, and where it's going to end up at. Good, and last but not least, over here. Oops. Nope, not you. You're not, you're not allowed. Okay, so uh, I don't have any torches, so let's make some real quick. I do have coal, I do have sticks, 
And that means we can make all the torches in the world. Joop, joop. All right, there you go. And we're just gonna go alongside here. I can see like a little land bridge up ahead. Ah, we're gonna fell you two guys. I'm gonna fell this one, this birch tree. And tell you what. Maybe not go outside, but make um, a little path for here. It's already like kind of natural path that has uh, formed. We're just gonna widen it, and ha -ha, we're over here. Maybe create a little bridge going over to this side. Now I'm just going to extend this now. But I think this would be a good um, way to do that. Over here. Well, like a little bridge of sorts. And then this is our entrance in. I also want to rework this. I mean, let's, you know. It's nice having all of this. Oof. But that's, that's partly the entrance we're looking for, is it? By the way, does the, does the bamboo spread? Because uh, so far, I'm not seeing any bamboo spread. And I... You know, I planted them down in the hopes that it would, but I don't think it... Actually, it did. I think the bamboo has been spreading. Where's my food? The bamboo has been spreading. But let me confirm that before I just um, say that. Uh, nope, it hasn't because I have got them in rows in the hope. I guess the mod doesn't work um, or I'm doing something wrong with it. I don't know. It's one of the two. That's all right. I would have liked to see that. Also, when did that blow up? Like, when? Oh, well, no idea. On that note, do I have some stairs? Yes, I do. And let's fix this while I'm at it. I haven't fixed this in a while because I'm horrible like that. All right. So far, so good. Now we're back. We're back home, finally. Ah. <sighs> Time to make use of our other dirt chest. Uh, we're gonna sort this and then we can just throw out all the dirt that we don't need and it goes straight in here. We have plenty of, oops, nope, you're coming here. We have plenty of sand um, somewhere down here. Not as much as I'd like, but we're gonna take like one or two blocks with us. Um, we'll need those. Over here, we're gonna throw some mossy cobblestone. We have sandstone that might be beneficial. I don't know. Uh, what is in that block? Wait, didn't I put a third chest up there? No, that must have just been for the cobblestone. That's also a thing that we have plenty of. Um, all the spruce logs in the world, I'll keep them with me. Uh, I'm gonna bring all the plant stuff out, and before I spend too much time sorting through this, I'm just throwing out all the stuff that I don't want in my backpack. Just a little, just to um, ease up the amount of junk we have. This is this is my junk box. This is where we're just throwing all the uh, quote-unquote junk so I don't have to worry too much about it. Junk like saddles and emeralds and blaze rods. <laughs> yes, junk quote-unquote. Stuff that I don't want with me all the time. All right, that's good enough, I would say, because we have still plenty of room. And once I'm not lazy, I will sort through this one way or another. Do I need leather right now? Nah. Okay, it's nighttime. You know what that means? I don't. What, what does it mean? Tell me. Tell me your secrets. That's so much spruce logs. We're gonna we're gonna put them in the uh, log box where we have all of the other logs. Okay, now we're going good to go up and we're going to get some sleep to skip the night. Hi, doggos! You still unnamed poor animals? I'm horrible with this stuff. I'm trying to stick with projects. You see what happens when you stick with projects. You have like three to ten episodes of me just working on like a path. That's... Wow! That turned out awesome! Remember I said I'm just going to put some dirt down and then I'm going to uh, put the tree up? That's amazing looking. Yeah, because it's so so tall. I like it. 
I'm digging this. Now we can replace could replace this with jungle locks, and it's perfect. Very good. That's a very good. That's a very nice tree. That's a very good tree. So, this is so much nicer when you don't have the inventory above all the time. I I always forget to turn it on. Just obviously, you want the inventory kind of around. Whole key. Also, let's take the shield away. I'm so sorry. That's just been in the way forever. And I, I'm barely fighting. Okay. So, remember the diamond pickaxe? Yeah, you do. Give me that. Nope, give me that XP tome. And give me that XP in it. 20. Wait, only 25? Shouldn't I have more? Didn't I keep more around? I'm very confused about that. Uh, I think levels are not uh, linear then? Maybe. Who knows? Ah, oh, well. So, Unbreaking 3 still requires level 30. Where am I going to get my five levels from? I built this little piglin thing, but it will take me forever to get there. Oh, wait, I did a thing. I did a thing. Oh, I got to show you that thing. I totally forgot about it. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it next episode. A little break from the... Uh, path building or at least we're going to start it not with path building anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the episode leave a like i'm weasel i'm out and hope to see you around bye bye <laughs>